Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Hope you're all well. Um, it's Halloween, and um, I didn't realise this morning really. I had such a busy weekend, and um, again. Anyhow, I'm thinking of coming back on this evening and um, doing a bit of Halloweening by sharing my personal experiences of otherworldly stuff, if you like, genuine things that have happened to me. I was told, sorry, I'm just, I was told once that I had, um, I had the gift of communicating, but it needed to be developed. I needed to, and I didn't develop it and I didn't need to develop it. It isn't something that I want to delve into. Um, but I do know that things have happened that are inexplicable. And um, I may come back on later and share those with you, a couple of them anyway. So, beauty, beauty. I saw that, was it yesterday, Pete went into her bedroom and she was live streaming with her rotten visas. And um, he went in and she pulled a face at the camera at her visas. So, what's he doing in my room? And she muted the film and turned around, telling him to get out, I suppose, because it's her ram. Somebody just come in my front door. Everybody's got a key to my front door. Um, it's her ram to have a man in her room. She's done a community post, which I'll get off, to explain the inexplicable. Um, and she explains it by saying that um, she asked him to leave her bedroom because she's a married woman. Oh, I can't get it on there. It's on my phone, isn't it? Um, she asked him to leave the bedroom because she's a married woman and it's a ram for a man to be in a married woman's bedroom. And she doesn't always wear her personal things are, like her dirty knickers on the floor and everything, I suppose. And she's not always wearing a hijab. Well, I'm pretty certain she doesn't wear that around the house anyway. Um, and as for her personal things, the whole room is a chip. When she was puking up the other week, um, it was Pete who had to, he probably saved her life actually because she was vomiting and it was him who had to clean all the mess up and clean all the vomit out of the air vents and everything, who's had to change her bottom when she's messed herself and she's been too drunk to do it herself. She's disgusting, she really is disgusting. Um, so anyway, he was kicked out of the room because it's a ram. Um, listen, foodie, you are not a married woman. No way, you're not a married woman. Not yet, you're not. Not until you go before that justice of the peace and sign the paper. You are not a married woman, you idiot. Who's to say whether you're going to go? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I've got no idea, to be honest. I just think you're a very loose cannon. Very loose. And one day, one day, it might not be next month, it might not be next year, but one day you are going to come up for a real, real fall. And I just hope that we're all around to see it. Because you, I can't think of any, anybody who deserves it more. At the moment um the other thing i'm going to address is somebody's written on my um actually there's a couple of people who've said that one of the beezers is constantly attacking me for the way i look and for my age so not i was curious so i went to have a look at this beezer missy moo this middle-aged 50-something, I guess, who weighs about 300, 
to three fifty pounds. She's like almost like Chantelle actually. She's like a a big bob bobble beach ball with this. She's like a beach ball, a round beach ball, and on top of that, she's got a perfectly round, smaller ball for her face. That's how she looks. One ball on top of another. She um, was doing some cooking. She'd been baking some cakes or some stuff, and um, was the video I, I looked at this morning. And um, she'd been baking these cakes. She was in the kitchen. I wouldn't touch them. The kitchen looks filthy. She looks filthy. Greasy hair, slicked back, slicked back, back with her own grease, I would imagine. Greasy poured, filthy dirty, lobbing around the kitchen. Um, as I say, one big ball and another little ball on top of her head. Um, listen, Petal, before you throw stones, remember you're in a great big greenhouse and there's a lot of people who may be attracted to go over just to have a look at at the mess that you are um you're talking about me and the only thing you can sling at me is my age we all age it's one thing that's common to every single living being everybody ages so you're actually attacking your future self but people like you are never going to reach my age never Morbidly obese, fat blobs who love to attack other people for their age because they've got nothing else to attack them for. Pathetic. There was also a, a video where she, you said that something about uh, um, Chantal being always being the Queen Bees, which makes me think, are you a bit like that? What was her name? He Helen Heather? Colonna, Heather Colonna, who they were saying troll detective might said might come to take Foodie Beauty's crown off her. Who would want that crown? Who would want it? You know, the shting, farting, sharting, sicking, vomiting, filthy, dirty, revolving door. Ho, oh, who would want that crown? Nobody in their right mind. But then most of the bees aren't in their right minds. I bet you most of them are like Missy Moo. Blobs wandering around their filthy houses who watch Foodie Beauty to make themselves feel better because she's such a hot mess. That's the bees for you. Anyhow, everybody, I'll be back. I'm... Um, Kiwi Farms is likely to be up in the next day or two. I'm not sure on what server. I'm hopeful that they're going to be up anyway. I'm going to come back and give a little talk about that. And I'll come on about Halloween a little bit later. In the meantime, enjoy your day. Have a great day. And um, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.